Right now, I am gonna skip school. I'm supposed to go in there, go to my classes, etc., etc. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna trade. I'm gonna trade properly today. Wednesday, we usually have a good expansion. I turned the car off. Both of them are coming over. If I'm skipping school and they know, they're gonna take me out, force me to go to my classes, and it'll be over for the video. So I'm gonna kinda lay down. I don't wanna get caught by the school cop either. My mom, she's gonna be driving from our house to the gym and doing her little run. So she's gonna be all around the town I live at. So my goal, I gotta escape without her spotting me. Because if she sees me, it's over. This entire video, it's done for. So she would be coming from that side, but she drives like a white Toyota. So if I can get through here without seeing one, then I should be chill. Which, yeah, I don't see one. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. You guys can't even see that. All right. I got a dual monitor set up right here, so I can have two charts on at the same time. There's some sort of reality to it. I'm mainly just sitting down, working for a few hours, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay here until I get kicked out, probably. And just continue working. Pre-market analysis, it is. Seven minutes until market open. Inversion for value gap. Market structure shift. Trace in that low hive. Order block, I guess. Power of three, because we have accumulation right here. We have our manipulation. And then we are inside of a distribution quarter right now. So I would be expecting distribution higher inside of this range. Okay. First trade. Um, 2022 model. First one. And I'll explain. Distribution quarter for the 90 minute cycles. I'm pretty confident that we are going to take a buy side liquidity for my entry right here. First trade of the day. So. We're gonna wait for this. We're gonna see what we can do. This is an actual entry, but I'm just trying to teach you guys about breakaway gaps and how they work. Because they have to be clean. This would be a really good place to start looking for shorts or reversal, just because of this. Reversal range plus retrace into a full discount. So we're gonna look for a smart money reversal, just because we are inside of the we are on the buy side of the curve right now. My plan right now, I might go and get coffee. I don't really like McDonald's coffee, but I do want coffee. If I can get coffee, I'm gonna go to the library because you can't study in a McDonald's when it's that noisy. You have old people chatting about their grandsons. He's still in my car. No, I'm kidding. No, this is Crispy. He's from the server. I don't know how you recognize my car or even knew I was here. Yeah, I guess you're right. The decals look a little bit. Decals look a little bit weird, but this is where I'm going to be for the next until, I'd say until 2 o'clock, then I'm out of here. So, first things down, we studied a lot, we traded, we could not find a trade. Conditions actually sucked because we didn't have any high impact red folder news. But I'm basically going to go out, go and get some food at McDonald's because that's the only restaurant near me, only place where I can eat. Otherwise, I'd go somewhere a little bit better. Since there isn't, I'm just going to head over there, eat a bit. Then I'll come back here, study some more. I think I'm going to do some back testing. I want to make more content because I'm really focusing on the production side of things. And um, I already figured things out with the camera, man. So we're going to get third person point of view soon. This dude's willing to record me with his camera for free. So we're chilling. 
I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. I might end up playing Roblox for, I'd say, 20 to 30 minutes with Strizzy, just because, I mean, oh, we're not on good terms. All right, I gotta be back at the school at 2.30 to bring my brother home. So I'm gonna try leaving the library. Time is right now, it's already 40. Okay, I might head over there, study for, I think, 20-ish minutes, and then I'll just head out back at the library. Two. Another thing I like to mention, I pay for all of our groceries, so I don't always get. What the hell is water? To beat our ass. So good selection. Which one are you gonna grab? Grab it then. Bag them up. My brother's a wolf. He corrodes, and he has a wood. I was left him behind. I'm kind of stuck here. Where? Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> Alright, back in the days where I used to trade successful, I took this thing right here. I'm gonna gatekeep this, but this right here, this is the reason why I'm making this video. This made my productivity, creativity, everything shoot up. I'm beat right now, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna go do the recap, and then I'm just gonna study some more. So, make up for the time since I slept early, took a nap when I got home. I'm gonna be up until 2 a.m. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even halfway done editing this video. I'm gonna be here for like another hour. So this is going to be the recap for today. It's going to be pretty raw, but I'm just going to go over the one trade I took today and my thought process throughout the day. So this should be pretty quick because I'm uploading another video right there. And, um, yeah, let's go over this real quick. So first trade I took, we have this right here. So I'm going to show you guys the beauty of this play. I showed you guys how I journaled it, whoever was on the call at the time. Let's go in the five minute and pinpoint it. So, right here, ran through this low, we had our Judas swing going into the day, which I want to look for one at 8.30, which, what was it, right here, we had 8.30, into our macro, we start shooting down lower, and we start reversing. When we have our market structure shift right here, this is where I'm considering to look for a trade for a breaker. So, we have our break right here, right? We have inversion fair value gap, that was used to take out a key reference point, so this is a high probability inversion fair value gap. Keeping that in mind we have a one minute fair value gap so all this combined tap back up into this breaker with an eight handle stop loss we target out this high right here this is where we take our lungs and this is where i took my lungs and since we did not sweep out liquidity on the, or external liquidity i was worried so i was telling people like all right if oops if you guys took this trade get out of break even even though i was holding on to it which i do a lot i think a lot of people realize that i tell people to get out of break even a lot even though i hold on to it but I make some people paper hand because I don't want new people taking losses because they always over leverage. That aside, this is the one long I took. We went lower, we retrace right here. This is also another unicorn because we ran out this low right here and we had this 
Breaker. So if you're incorrect to me about my breaker, I'm glad to learn. Whoa. I'm glad to learn about that. I pretty much fix this. So, unicorn, tap into it. And push up higher. And we also retraced. And what did we tap back into? We tapped into this BPR again. And a small, I don't know if there's a volume imbalance. I know there wasn't. There had to have been a volume imbalance right here. Because I saw one earlier today. And I was like, didn't we just retrace into that volume imbalance? But maybe I'm just freaking out. Let's see. No, there was no volume imbalance. That's crazy. I was focusing more on watching the higher time frame. And since it was a low, um, what was it? Uh, I'd say mid. We didn't really have high impact news. I wasn't really too ecstatic about trading, which we did good. A lot of us actually took today off, which was also really good. And right here, this is obvious. I think everyone knows what this is. Power of three. We have accumulation throughout this range. And during lunch, we have our manipulation, which I showed about. I showed inside of yesterday's recap. During lunch, we run up this low, which sets the stage for us to take out buy side liquidity going into the PM session. So into the going into the PM session, instantly tap back or instantly run up buy side liquidity this high right here. This place low or shift market structure retrace into this fair value gap, which I put this out here way too late. I wanted to take long or shorts off this, and I did, and then I closed out of it. Just because I was like, no, this isn't a good entry because it was a market order. When I saw it tap into consequent encroachment of this fair value gap, I chased an entry, so my actual entry was right down here. And since it displaced, I was like, all right, we're just going to get out. That was a bad entry, even though we ran out to take out this low, which I think I want to go over this one more time so you guys can understand. Power 3, manipulation during lunch. Lower, we're going to take out buy side. We take out buy side, go into our PM session, shift market structure, retrace into this fair value gap. Plus, what is this right here? It's a high probability order of luck because we have a bearish fair value gap alongside it. So, all this lining up, even though we had no SMT, I thought we did. This right here would have been really good for shorts because we did end up taking out by sell side liquidity again inside of this range. Then we came all the way back up and accumulated. And right here, I don't really know what happened here. Just sweep, fair value gap, lower. So, I mean. Yeah. That's about it. That's all we really had. Do we have any questions?